Hi everyone! For those of you that don't know me, my name is Tess and I am the intern here at the Youth Department at the Southfield Public Library. Uh, today I'll be bringing you our last installment of Picture This and we'll be talking about Vanessa Brantley Newton. Vanessa Brantley Newton was born during the Civil Rights Movement in Newark, New Jersey. And through the upbringing in the community that she was part of, she learned the importance of acceptance and empowerment in the youth's lives and in her life as well. Uh, she attended both the School for Visual Arts and Fashion Institute of New Technology of New York, and she studied children's illustrations and fashion design. As an illustrator, Vanessa Brandley Newton strives to put children of all ethnicities and different social backgrounds into her stories because she wants these children to see themselves reflected in the pages of the books that they're reading. Uh, and this way they feel the same sense of empowerment and recognition that she experienced when she was seeing herself in the pages of the books she read when she was younger. Vanessa celebrates self-love and acceptance, which is something that is touched on many times in her books and in her life story. Uh, from her bio on her website, uh, she hopes to inspire young readers to find their own voices. She first learned to express herself as a little girl through song. Growing up in a musical family, Vanessa's parents taught her how to sing to help overcome her stuttering. Each night, the family would gather to make music together with her mom on piano, her dad on guitar, and Vanessa and her sister, Koi, singing the blues, gospel, spirituals, and jazz. Now, whenever she illustrates, music fills the air and finds its way into her art. And I just love that little story because it brings something extra to the page when you, and you can see it in her illustrations. Now, Vanessa Brantley Newton has illustrated for a lot of picture books, so I'm just going to talk about a few of my favorites. The first being Hannah Sparkles, and this is by Robin Mellum and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. And it's so good to see the different illustrations in our two main characters as Hannah Sparkles has to learn that not everybody loves rainbow and sparkles. And sometimes your new neighbor friend is going to like different things than you. So it's a great lesson in friendship. The last one I have for you is the King of Kindergarten, which turns out there's going to be a Queen of Kindergarten this May. But this one is by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton, and we follow our main kindergarten character as he takes on his first day of kindergarten. On top of illustrating, Vanessa Brantley Newton has also authored and illustrated some books of her own, one being Let Freedom Sing which adapts the lyrics for This Little Light of Mine with some amazing illustrations and goes through the importance of the song to the civil rights movement. Another one we have is Grandma's Purse, which follows our main character as they go through all of the things that Grandma can hold in her purse, which we all know can sometimes be a lot of stuff. So we get to see her play, interact, and the images the illustrations just come alive on the page. Last one, and one of my favorites, is Just Like Me. Just Like Me is found in our poetry section, actually, and each poem is illustrated with their own unique images. Poetry can sometimes be hard for young ones, and the brightly colored, beautiful pictures just make it fun and interactive no matter what age you're reading at. Now those are just some of the books we have at our library. She has illustrated many more and she's coming out with other ones that she's authored as well. Uh, so a lot of my information does come from her website. So if you'd like to learn more about Vanessa Brantley Newton, you can visit her website at vanessabrantleynewton.com or you can visit our library website, give us a call or stop in to see the books for yourselves. Thanks for joining me for Picture This and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.